everyone. So today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, I have a canker sore. I have the queen of all canker sores. I don't know if this is gross, but like, Ow. That hurts right now. Okay, but today we are doing a very long overdue studio tour. I'm calling it a studio tour. I don't know if it should be called a house tour or a studio tour. It's kind of like both put into one, but it's not a house tour because no, like I don't live here. It's a studio. Like this is where I film, edit. This is where the magic of this channel comes together. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you probably saw the video where I purchased this place. Tate and I got this place together. He lived here whilst I filmed here and we shared it half and half. And then he decided to move out because he wanted to live somewhere else. Don't worry, it wasn't a falling out, nothing serious. He just wanted to move out to live with some friends. And that literally couldn't have happened at a better time because I was starting to push the seams of half of this place. So when he moved out, I then took over his rooms and his half, and now it is a full functioning studio. So in my moving out series, I probably shouldn't have named it a moving out series because I wasn't really moving out. I still lived at home, but I was here, but Tate was moving out. I don't know, it was confusing. I probably shouldn't have named it that because it made it more confusing. And I have been wanting to do a completed studio tour for a while now, and now is like the best time to do it and probably the last chance because we are moving studios. We're not moving far, but we're moving studios in a few months. So if I don't share this now, I might sell this place and never get to share it. I think why it took me so long to do this video is I wasn't sure if anyone would care to see this, but then I saw comments about wanting to see a studio tour and wanting to see what's behind the scenes and everything. So hopefully you guys think this is a lot of fun. I just feel so unbelievably blessed to have this place. I'm so excited to show you guys. Thank you so much for all of your love and support and making this possible. I'm excited to do also turning this from the studio to a normal house to sell it. So that'll probably be coming out in the next six months. So I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's get in to the studio tour. Let's go. <laughs> oh, hello. Come on. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, hello. Come on in. Would you please come in? Chip, chip, no. <laughs> oh, hello. Come on in. I am going to be doing. Where are you going? Hello. Come on inside. It's frightfully cold in the middle of May. Come in. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Hello. We have a professional camera crew today. Mama Maples is working the gimbal. Okay, so here we are in the entryway of the studio. This is where the magic happens, people. This is where everybody walks in and has that Disney moment. No, I'm just <laughs> this is honestly uh, just the entryway. Here we have a giant rug that has had many a stain on it. Over here in this corner is where we hang up the jackets. It looks kind of bad right now because it's only my jackets, which actually doesn't make any sense. Nobody else got any jackets in here. I've got sweaters for every time of the year because one day it'll be plus 20 and then the next day it's snowing. It's very random. Over here in this corner is just some boxes. There's always things coming in and out for videos. So they kind of just stack up right here. This is actually for a future video that we're filming next week that I'm so excited about. So I'm happy everything came on time. Then over here, this is our little almost COVID zone. We've got some one use masks, or what is it, one use? We use these a few times, but we've got masks here just in case somebody forgets. Hand sanitizer, an extra car key, some of these, just random keys. Honestly, anytime dad comes over, he just throws all of his stuff in here. So this is sort of the catch-all of dad's stuff. I'm not even gonna pretend like it's usually this clean in here. We definitely did a three-day clean on the entire studio. And when I say we, I mean my family. I don't have any workers, it's just us. Okay, over here is some movie magic. I thought this was gonna be such a revolutionary piece because whenever people come in in the middle of filming they always 
my dad slammed the door and disrupt the filming which is upstairs. So I got this little thing off Etsy and you just turn it on and then when people walk in before they start yelling they check to make sure that I'm not recording. I also have one of these just for fun. I don't really use it but I should. Okay and then below here there's just this little seat thing and it's got shoes. These are basically just my mom and I shoes. I think Tate has one pair. Yeah here's Tate's shoes. The rest is really just slippers and things like that. Okay, and now we're moving into the main living room. This is probably the biggest room in the house. And if you watched my moving out series, this at one point was a real functioning living room. Back when Tate lived in here, I decorated this as a living room so he could live here and lounge here. But then when he moved out, there wasn't really a need for a living room in the studio. So it became storage and a makeshift workout zone. I get a lot of questions about this pink treadmill. Does it work? Do I use it? Yes to both. It's not the best treadmill, but I'm not looking for something high tech, you know? So after this was a living room, it kind of was an empty catch-all space for my mom and I to learn TikTok dances. in between doing Chloe Ting workout routines. So it was kind of just an extra larger space where we could film. We can honestly have a trip down memory lane in this room in most of the studio. We've got the pink tile table down here. Lots of things that I've made in the past, like my pottery dish. Over here are some weighted hula hoops. We're actually filming that right now. And then this is like, <laughs> Honestly, I get so pulled in by Instagram ads. It's actually a problem. This is the foodie sprout. I don't know if I should show you how it works, so I won't. Okay, then across from the makeshift workout zone, we've got a lot of storage here and also Chip's hangout area. So Chip comes to work pretty much every day. If you guys didn't know, I work Monday to Friday, nine to five. I like to keep that schedule for myself. Otherwise, I can procrastinate or work 24 hours in a day. So I like to have those hours. It's just enough time to get two videos out a week and a little bit extra. What am I talking about? Um, anyways, Chip Zone. So this is Chip's bed. It was originally Scooby's bed, so it's also a memory. Dogs seem to love this bed. It's just so round. And honestly, since we don't have a living room, Sometimes I'll come up the stairs and my mom will be sleeping on it. So in the next studio, we will have a couch, but for now it's the dog bed. <laughs> and then this chair, this is a little bit interesting. This is actually for a future Facebook marketplace flip video. This was free and I brought it here because I was going to flip it, but then fabric line closed because of COVID. So it's here it sits and Chip literally loves sitting here and looking out the window. And then to the right of the chair is some of Chip's toys. I don't even think this is that exciting, but like here's his faves, little pig. My socks are in here for some reason. Then I have this organizer, which was actually in my last studio, which I don't know if I ever showed it. It was just a room in my parents' house and it used to have everything. It used to have the storage, the filming equipment, everything. So when I moved from there to here, it was amazing. But this storage unit came from there. So on the bottom I have things that have recently came in. On this one I have makeup, a few picture frames, a jelly bath, I don't know. And then on the side I have all of these wooden dowels. And then working our way up, I have a geode here that I still need to break open. It's actually like the hardest rock to break open ever. And then I have this lamp. <laughs> I don't know why it's here. Honestly, it's more of a hazard than anything. The amount of times people are picking things up and they'll like come up and I have these thoughts of them crushing the light bulb above their head. It needs a new home, but for now it sits. On this shelf, we have some knives conveniently placed for opening packages by the door. This shelf kind of has a lot of miscellaneous stuff on it. It's got the projector from my wallpaper video, some pens, papers. On the top here is this little octopus and some 
perfume and my Mickey Mouse ears. Kind of a catch-all. Honestly, this is one of those things when I tell you I'm a hoarder, this is what I'm talking about. I should probably just get a front for this. Moving into this corner with storage that's actually organized well, most of this is makeup in these two over here and then renovation supplies in these two. You can come and look if you want. I'll open a few of these. I've kind of collected a lot of things over the years. We've got handles, extra handles that I've saved, sanding, silicone, more handles. Oh my gosh, like seriously. Paint brushes, paint stuff, kind of just a lot of stuff in these. We just got a parcel delivered. Sorry for the brief intermission. Back to looking through these. Screwdrivers, dowels, nail gun. That one's kind of empty. Oh my gosh, my fusion paint obsession. Oh no, paint obsessions. Oh no. <laughs> if you guys ever want to see a tour of my storage unit, <laughs> I'll probably have to go through that soon. So if you want to see a video of it, great. If not, I'll just do it and not film it. And then in these two units, these are the Alex 9 drawer units from Ikea. I've had these forever. If you go back and watch videos, these are probably the first things that were ever in my backdrops. So I have a basically empty lipstick container, a few candles, sunglasses. In here is just all of my makeup. I try to go through here fairly regularly, <laughs> annually, just to get rid of lots of stuff. Donating makeup is actually really easy, so I like to do that. And lots of times if I've already used stuff or opened it, my friends or my mom will take it. So to the closet. So here we have a closet. Now this would usually be the entranceway closet where people would probably store jackets and stuff but I store vinyl tiles. This is uh, another catch-all zone, I gotta say. So in here we have a lot of stuff. We have some shoe storage, and then these blue outfits that you guys see in every renovation video. <sighs> Future gifts for people. There was a period in my life where vinyl tiles were just super exciting. So they kept selling out. So one time when they had done a restock, I bought just a bunch so that I wouldn't have to concern myself with the next launches. So that's what this is. And I always wonder when I'm moving these tiles around how much the floor can carry because they weigh so much, you guys. But I do have plans for these tiles. Contrary to what some people think about my tile collection, I am going to use them. I'm not just gonna hoard them away. I also have my Ryobi screwdriver, a saw, and some of this like peel and stick countertop that I used in the upstairs bathroom. Here we have leftover epoxy from the countertop video we did. Just basically lots of stuff. I'm really, really hopeful that in the future we have a garage for all of this hardware stuff because I really feel like this could be well organized outside of the house, but we will see. I'm gonna close this. It gives me anxiety to look in it. Okay, now we're gonna move into the kitchen. Okay, here we are in the kitchen. What is my pothos doing on literally the side of the island? <laughs> this is not its home. This goes upstairs, but we'll just leave it here for now. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen. Now, when I first redid this kitchen a couple years ago, when it started out, it was all orange and brown and I made it pretty much head to toe white but now I'm really into color so I painted this island blue which I love this little color accent I know the next kitchen is going to be hopefully an explosion of color but yeah in here there's not too much to say <laughs> we have a to-do list we need to get ketchup if I go one more day without some dang ketchup in this place <laughs> <laughs> the all important list. Get ketchup! If <laughs> one more person forgets my ketchup. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But okay, and no, over it's here, serious. it's true though. <laughs> okay, over here we have our pantry. Now this I'm actually pretty happy about. Oh my gosh! I swear I'm not <laughs> 
I am not obsessed with good thins, okay? <laughs> I've just been testing, so I have quite a few sensitivities to food, so I've been testing them lately to see what's causing my eczema. If you want a video on that, I can do it. I've been kind of avoiding doing it because it is a bone of contention for me, but if you guys would like to see or maybe you're experiencing something similar, I can do that. But that's why we have all of these weird, well not weird, but different flowers. We've got arrowroot, rice flour, buckwheat flour, coconut flour, a bunch of different things to cook with because when you're trying to test your sensitivities, a lot of times you have to bake everything. So that's the pantry. Ooh, I know what I was talking about. You're probably curious, what is this? This is Chippy's Puzzles. Now, since Chippy comes to work with us, we like to give him his little puzzles. So there is three puzzles in here. He does three puzzles a day, easy, medium, and hard. Basically how they work is you lock the door and you trap the treat in here. Does anybody care or am I just going on about this? Anyway, Chip has to move this with his nose or his paw and then it unlocks the door and he has to pull the door. Sometimes we'll set this one out in particular and we'll go downstairs and we can hear him like banging around, throwing this puzzle all over the place, <laughs> trying to get it open. It's actually super cute and funny and it exercises his brain. So. That's up here, so we remember to do that. So this is the kitchen. This is where I cook most of my baking videos. You might recognize it from this angle. There's not too much to say about it in here. We painted the cabinets. We got new countertop. You can watch my moving out series if you want to see basically that in all of its glory, I guess. I love this kitchen. It's really convenient. It's nice and cute. My favorite thing in the kitchen is definitely this cat that holds the salt and pepper. I love this and I get a lot of questions about where is this from and I wish I could give you more info but I got it at a farmer's market in Arizona four years ago. So if that helps, go get yourself one. You won't regret it. I just think we have three of my plants. Here they are. Sometimes I like to spray them. They like that. Oh, my soap dispenser. Get ready for this. I also saw that on TikTok. Oh, I guess I should probably show these. Look at these things my mom set up. They're all the spices and they're magnetic to the fridge. Pretty convenient. We've got, you know, taco seasoning, the most important seasoning. My favorite dill. I love dill. So yeah, these are just like quick access, nice to have on the fridge. Cute enough into the dining room. Okay, into the dining room. This is adjacent to the kitchen. I actually changed this a fair bit after my moving out series. If you watch that video, <laughs> this is not sponsored by my moving out series. I just think that a lot of info came out of that video. But I did change it up a fair bit. As you can see, I added this rug, which added a lot of color. Oh my goodness, I didn't even think to say, after the Moving Out series, we changed the flooring and the baseboards as well. I wish I would have done a separate episode on that because I've gotten a fair bit of questions, but I'm saying it now. Okay, so in here, we just have this little, almost three by five, wooden table. I love this because it's got live edge wood. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six chairs, but two are unusable because they are directly under the shelf. On this shelf, we have a few plants. I have my air plants in here, and then that little guy over here, and these two animal pictures. You may notice I have a lot of animals in the house. I love things that when you look at them, they make you happy, and these pictures make me happy when I look at them. I've also got the tulips on the side that my mom painted, and that's pretty much it. Let's go in to this bag. Oh yeah, my shark. I made this shark at a class, and everyone else was making those signs that are like, live free, be happy, and I was like, I'm making a shark. Not trying to be quirky, just a true story. Not a joke, just a fact, people. You honestly would swear I have a shark obsession because here's my other shark that I painted at another class. In the same year, actually, I did two different shark crafts. So this is the main floor bathroom. This is a half bath. How badly I wanted that sign that's like, get naked. Just kidding, this is a half bath. Wasted opportunity, but I do have this picture, which it's like Cheerios, and then there's this little 
seal or otter in here. Another animal. It's just so cute. So in here we have a few skincare products and a lot of bath bombs, which is ironic because it's a half bath. Oh my goodness, our medicine drawer. We don't need to look in here. I'm not gonna open anything up, but this is this is the main floor bathroom. Okay, now we're gonna go upstairs. Upstairs is where the magic happens. That is where all of the filming sets are. Now I know a lot of YouTubers don't have filming sets, but for me, it was just really hard to keep a nice, tidy filming area in my room whilst having all the lighting and microphones and audio equipment that I wanted. So this works well for me. I love my filming area. So let's go upstairs and take a look. Firstly, we're going up the stairs. This beautiful decorative ledge that has so much potential, but we just use it as storage. Some extras that have yet to know where they're going or being donated. So this is just storage. Okay, so at the top of the stairs, we have this bathroom. This is actually the bathroom from my I Spent Nothing on This Bathroom Makeover. If you have not seen that video, here is what this bathroom looks like. It stayed together pretty well after that video. Here's that contact paper that I used on the surface, the painted bottom the tile wall, this little arch here. I think under here is mainly just, yeah, hair care and storage and skin care and things like that. But you can really tell it's a studio up here because in the bathtub, there is only one thing. Filming equipment and wigs in the corner here. So these are the lights that we use when we film in the kitchen. I am a little bit of a problematic person when it comes to perfectionism on lighting. I know it may not seem like that. This is the kitchen lighting in here. Behind me we have two of the filming rooms and then this is just storage. Basically my old sewing machine, some extra stuff, the mat. It's just a catch-all room again. And then we will go into the most used filming room and that is what we like to call the sit-down filming room. So why we call this the sit-down filming room is because I'm always sitting down when I'm in here. It's pretty simple. In here you may actually, see, I should probably mention all of the lighting. That's why my eyes hurt after I film because these are all blasting in my face. Actually, come sit in the chair that I normally sit in and I'll turn on the lights for you. So you are where I normally am when I'm about to film an intro or a makeup video or anything like that. And then I'll have the camera on this tripod and then it's time to turn the lights on. And it gets a little bit bright in here. I know my lighting's not perfect, but I think this shows that I am trying to have good lighting. And you may notice all of these little squares on the wall. These are to counteract echo. echo. I used to have so much echo in my videos and then I got these and it really really helped. I used to have, you may see like there's some glue on the walls, I used to have foam ones but these work better and they look better in my opinion. So they're all over all the filming rooms you'll notice. And yeah, sometimes I have to squeak through here just to get out. Let's swap. Oh yeah, look, look at all the sea of cords up here. So now I'm where I normally film. I've got my mic here. I have all the things that I kind of need quick access to. Now, if you watch my channel, you probably recognize the backdrop. I get so many questions asking me if I'm in the washroom sitting on a toilet. So this is me showing everyone. I am not in a bathroom. The reason why there's this little hall here is because when I moved in, this was a bedroom and this was a closet and I ripped the closet out and now it's the backdrop to where I film. So this is the most used room. Into the next room. Okay, so this is probably the least used room. We like to call this the craft and sewing room. You may notice the same sort of idea in here. There's a lot of lights. Now these actually used to be on stands on the ground, but taking these smaller rooms, they're not super small, but this is like seven by 10. It was hard to have one, two, three, four, five stands of lights. So we mounted them to the ceiling. So when we move out and try and sell this place, we're gonna have to unstudio-fy this place, which I really wanna do a video of that. Again, for here we have the lighting that turns on by one switch. And this is the little monitor. The other room also had a monitor. <sighs> 
So if you have ever watched a sewing video, a revamp, a pottery video, you've probably seen this room. This is the flamingo wall room. This is actually pretty new. We got this bookshelf and also this just to make the background look a little bit cuter. I know, how can you make it cuter than flamingos? Impossible, but we tried. Over here in this corner is sort of a big mess of all of the camera equipment. This was way messier before. I spent two days organizing this, but it's still quite a mess, but it's okay. So this is where I like to organize, <laughs> get out of the way, get out of the way you. This is where we organize all of the equipment. Now I am not a camera savvy person and that's kind Kind of the biggest problem with me and YouTube is I often mess things up when it comes to electronics. So this is in an ode to have better equipment, better quality, and have things work better. So on the top here we've got mics, lav mics, tripods. Over here we have cameras and lenses. And then down here I have kind of like organization where we do the SD cards and the earbuds. Just trying to be as organized as possible. This I feel like is a very exciting, so let's go. Across the hall, this is the last filming room and it's also the biggest one. This is what we call the full body filming room. Come on in and take a look. So from this side is probably what you guys recognize, but what you don't see is what's on the opposite side. So let's whip around and show you guys what I see while I film. Same sort of situation. We've got lots and lots of lights. I really want good lighting. And believe it or not, with even with all these lights, I still somehow mess up my lighting. We also have the mic hanging from the ceiling. And I'll give you the experience. This is a double click on. So first one. And then if I could go back in time, I would place this one like an inch lower because I'm always reaching. But that's the light. And you know you're in Canada when you have a heater and an AC unit side by side. So right here is where I set the laptop that records the audio. So my audio doesn't naturally flow from the camera mic. The camera mic audio is my backup audio, the Yeti mic is my main audio and then this is the monitor where I can make sure everything is focused. And again on the walls all the rooms have these for echo. Over in this corner, let me shut these off so I'm not blinding anybody. Oh, a little lower. <laughs> you may recognize this from a Facebook revamp video. It actually went to use here but in here I have all of my Filming attire is what I call it because on a daily basis I wear sweatpants and sweatshirts, t-shirts, nothing that exciting. So when I get here and I'm about to film I always change into something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and nicer looking so that you guys don't think I wear sweatpants all the time. But I think you might be on to me. Oh my goodness, I said this was the last filming room but I was wrong because here in what used to be a closet is my gaming room. So for those of you that don't know, I have a gaming channel. Please go over there and subscribe if you wanna watch. It's been such a fun channel to have because there's no stress of like filming with great lighting scheduling. There's none of that so it's just really carefree and fun and I've been having so much fun playing nostalgic games and GeoGuessr so after this go check that video out but this is where I film those videos and you may recognize the decor from this video because it is from my what was it grayscale room makeover where I couldn't see the colors and this is what we ended up with and it's beautiful. I really really like it. I've got a PC here. Here's just a sample of the games we're playing. Bella Sarah, Roller Coaster Tycoon, Barbie Fashion Show, I've almost beat this. I just recently played Sims and Zoo Tycoon. So yeah, the gaming channel is a lot of fun. So, so go watch it, please. I'm not gonna beg, but come on, I will. Do you want me to beg? Please go over. But yeah, this is literally a closet. Okay, so that is all for upstairs. We're gonna go all the way down into the basement. Follow me. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the basement. This was also a video. This was redoing the basement. It was another moving out episode. We did carpet down here. I love 
love carpet and this is really squishy carpet i picked it out so nice okay so this is my very important secret whiteboard with all of my videos and schedules this is very important i've been doing this once a month now and it really helps me stay on schedule and make sure get my uploads but i want you guys to be surprised so I'm not gonna show you that. Okay, so here is the office space that we have downstairs. For the longest time, I edited videos at the dining table, and I think that's the reason I have such terrible wrist problems now. So make sure if you're editing a lot or working on your computer a lot, make sure to get the correct ergonomic setup. That's what we finally worked on. So Tate's desk, my mom's desk is the bigger desk, and mine is over in that corner. I got the desk with the view. She's got the desk with the view. Mm-hmm. I already have a video about this space, but basically these are just cubbies that organize lots of stuff. I have all of my hard drives in here at the bottom with all of the footage in them for long videos. This is where a lot of my taxes and things get organized. We also have a heater that also cools, which is nice. I really like this couch down here. It's kind of small, but it's the pop of color. And then under here, the couch matches Chippy's little bed. And it's so cute when Chip curls up under here. He loves this little bed. And we love having him around. You'll notice all around is Chip's toys. Here are some of his personal faves. This one offers many different squeaks. He loves that. So I want to show you guys a few things I've done to try and save my wrists. So firstly, I got a chair that would save my back. Whilst I was getting this, I also got like the same setup for Tate and my mom because I don't want them to experience the same issues that I have. I've been making videos for like nine years and for eight of those nine years, I had a terrible workspace. So it's really important to help that. And that leads to why this looks so bad because this was a drawer and then we ripped the front off of it so that we could fit the ergonomic mouse. I'll just reenact what I used to edit at was like this. Now that I have my setup, I have this which extends up to hold the laptop so that I don't need to slouch down. It's so my eyes and my laptop can meet straight on. And then down here, I have this little pad full of beans or something that I rest my wrist on so it's not bent all the time. And now I use a mouse instead of a trackpad and this one really isolates your thumb and it's also a very sensitive mouse so that you don't have to like move a bunch to get your mouse to go far. And lastly is this keypad that you can probably see has an arc and that's better for your hands resting. I've definitely felt still pain but less from this setup. So I think it was definitely worth it and hopefully in the long run, it'll be good for me. But this is just to show you guys, I am trying to help myself. I am. Okay, and then in this room right here, this is storage. So brace yourself for this. Keep in mind, most of the cleaning took place in here. It's actually at the cleanest I've ever seen it, but it's still pretty full. So this is the storage room, whether that's videos that are about to happen, videos that were waiting to happen, or videos that have had, what? <laughs> videos that have happened, but we're just keeping the stock here until we get rid of it. Also, this is the furnace room, so on this side is all the furnace and everything. Not very exciting, you don't need to look at that. I don't even know where to begin in here. Let's first talk about this area. So if you watch my videos, you've probably seen I do a lot of prom dress and wedding dress videos and in every video I'm always like I'm not keeping them I'm not keeping them I'm donating them and now you're probably like are you donating them and let me just explain I am donating them so when I donate just normal clothes like jeans or shirts or not super fancy dresses I'll usually just donate them locally or I'll spread them around to different thrift stores but when it comes to prom dresses and these gowns I have a few specific places I want to donate them to and because of COVID a lot of places aren't taking donations right now and because of the sheer mass of dresses I really want to do a video showing you guys where all of these dresses are going to be going because that's one of the number one comments I get on my channel is where do you keep all your stuff where do you donate these dresses where does everything go so right now a lot of the dresses stay here 
but I'm going to do a video in depth of the donation process and which places they're going to go. There are so many amazing places that take dresses for people for prom, dresses for people who are having weddings that can't afford their own dresses. There are so many amazing places that take dresses, so we're going to be spreading these around, but for now, they sit. The other day my mom and I were searching around how many places we wanted to donate to and how many dresses to each place and we counted and I think there's just under a hundred dresses here which is so crazy. But I don't do those prom dress videos to accumulate all these dresses. I do them in a hope to help you guys if you guys are looking for dresses or to just be entertaining. So it's really nice that there are all these amazing places to donate to that will repurpose these and give them to people who will really appreciate them. So this is where they all are right now. Hopefully not for long though. Then over here, as you can see, hanging and in the rafters, is my wig collection. There are a lot of wigs here. My mom is currently hiding in a sea of dresses to film this, but behind me is all of the storage for future videos. So in videos when I say, I was looking through my storage and I found a Rubbermaid that I had forgot existed, this is what I'm talking about. Sometimes I'll just be like searching around trying to find something and I'll be like, what's that? And I'll reach back and I'll find a Rubbermaid that I completely forgot about with a video concept that I want to do. So this is where we try to organize everything. For instance, we have a drag challenge, weird heels, historical clothing. Yeah, that's right. That's coming. When you order historical clothing, they take around three months to make it, but it's on the way. We will put the Marie Antoinette wig to good use. We've got so many different video concepts down here that are eventually going to be videos on my channel, hopefully, and then also just extra merch and stuff. Storage of shoes that I just cannot part with. And then over here is just all of the DIY stuff, whether it's paint, wrapping stuff, nail things. My laundry is just hiding under here. It never worked anyways, so we just covered it. It's basically a shelf now. So yeah, this is the storage room. This is where we try to make sense of all of the video concepts that pop into my brain and also where we are housing all of the dresses, the backdrops, the giant wish bubble. It's a lot and it all seems to fit down here. So thank goodness for that room. All right, you guys, that has been the entire head to toe studio. I'm so excited to hear what you guys think of this space. I absolutely adore this space. I feel like we've done a lot with every inch of this place. Like no one part has been unused. My gaming room is in the closet. I feel so, so blessed by you guys to have this amazing workspace. Like I feel so lucky to have it. And it's just so amazing from what I initially bought to this. I feel like we transformed it a lot and it's gonna be sad to see it go, but that's just life, I guess. But yeah, so I hope it was fun for you guys to see all the behind the scenes parts of the studio. Let me know down below which piece surprised you the most. I feel like some people will be surprised by the storage. It's very full. I know. I know it's a problem. I know. As always, thank you guys so, so much for all of your love and support. I appreciate you guys so much and make sure to let me know if there's any more videos you guys would like to see. I'll do whatever you want. Whatever you want to see, I will do. But anyways, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!